so I was a naysayer and I was wrong. Gosh, this year so far has not been my lucky year for uh, for my resale business. It's just like everything I do just seems to be the wrong time. So I am still out here. I'm gonna keep going. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna last. It's getting really severe out here. Uh, definitely picked the wrong day. Look at these little guys. Japan. Those are so cute. I think I'm gonna go get them. Might as well. They're unique. And then, of course, I like a, the salt, um, the, uh, gosh, I'm so distracted by how terrible it is outside. Uh, the light bulb salt and pepper shakers. I've had them before, though. And then I also like the strawberry ones. Those are fun. Why not? Hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. First, of course, I noticed the squeaky elephant. Ashland 22. That's about retail on that. I love this little celluloid doll's outfit. That is cute. 10. And, of course, you know I noticed this guy. The, uh... Google Eye Creamer 24. It's about retail on that though. Those used to go for crazy amounts. Some really fun stuff here. Oh my gosh, I love the display and of course the glass. Uh, the mushrooms are really fun. Two out of three outs for the whole set. I don't wanna mess with that. Of course, I've seen the Nun before. That is so freaking cute, even though it's new. Do you think they're ever gonna find out that you're probably not gonna get $75 for this. Oof, it pains me to see it just sit here. Um, I'm trying to run through, honestly. It's uh, picking up, it's, ooh, kitschy little lambs. So cute. It's got plants in it though, I don't want that. And it's new, right? No, it's old. Um, the other thing I noticed was this frog and mushroom creamer set, $17 though. All right, well, I don't really don't see anything else and I am trying to speed this up. So I'm going to check out with my couple sets of salt and pepper shakers and I guess head down the road to my next stop. Damn, this sucks so bad. <laughs> This is definitely gonna be my last stop. This is terrible. I'm, <laughs> I try not to have a bad attitude, but this is actually terrible. Well, I love all the pinks and reds. Oh my gosh. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda assumed that this was just gonna be Christmas booths, but now I am seeing that it's everything after Christmas and I am so happy about it. So first off, these guys, these are really unique. Um, the Hold Howard ones are great, $16. I had those ones before. Honestly, those almost look like Hold Howard. I am not, I kind of want to go through the cards, even though I said it was card out, carded out. Um, I'm definitely going to pick these up for ten dollars they're just way too unique not to as much as i want to go through the cards i'm just like so scared of the weather out there that i don't want to spend too much time so i'm kind of just like glancing through for that special subject maybe uh some of the cards like anthropomorphic foods and such sell for really good amounts of money i really like the top one that's so cute. Although I'm not a big fan of the teacher themed ones. Let me grab these salt and pepper shakers. These are so fun. Oh, little fish. Um, what is, what is going on with this lamp? I see a mark down, hold on. 40 bucks, gosh, that's so cool. Uh, now, is there a sale here? I don't see a sale sign. These grapes though, these are very cool. I've never seen the blue ones like this. They're $25. I know I could still make money off them. I wish they were a little bit less. 
Uh, I know the last time I left a pair of grapes, people were upset about it, but these are so unique. I don't think I could leave them. <sighs> well, we're back at this uh, booth that I love so much. Now, <laughs> I'm still having a hard time with the Miss Chris. This is 40, but it's firm. They did mark it down a little. I, can't, I still can't spend that um, for resale. That's a good collector's price, though. Those are firm, firm too. Hmm. Let's, what do we have over here? There's a lot going on over there. Uh, yeah, a lot of really cute stuff that's very close um, to something I would grab, but... Ooh, Humpty Dumpty. 18 McCoy. That's a really good deal, um, especially with the 20%, but I've had it before. Hmm. Yeah, I see a lot of stuff I like, but nothing that's really telling me that I need to grab it. What's going on down there? Large Valentine's. This is, this is really bothering me, though. Um, I have to do some math on it to see if I can justify it. I'm still kind of back and forth about it, but in the meantime, this planter is hilarious. $6.50, too. I've bought a bunch of things like this recently, and some have gone immediately, and some have kind of sat. I'd like to pick that up, but I think I'm going to hold out. Oh, these are fun. Oh, <laughs> this is so stinking cute. It's definitely new, though. That's a shame, because I adore it. Okay, so unpopular opinion. I just don't think I can justify spending $25 on these up front. It's, it's a lot to, to because I, I wouldn't be able to double my money and I just don't feel right about it. I'm sorry. I know it's, uh, they're incredible, but it's, this is weird. <clears throat> yeah, I wish I could, but I can't. I'm going to let it go and I'm going to check out and, uh, check the situation outside. He's a lot less. Seven bucks. Well, I spent $10 in there. It looks like it's slowing down a little bit. This still really sucks. It sucks outside, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might skip Penmar and uh, I don't know which the best route is home. I'm gonna go figure it out. I managed to calm down a little. So did the weather, it seems. Uh, I scrapped the rest of my plan. Next, I'm gonna go to Boonesboro. I'm headed back south uh, towards home. The weather is a little bit more forgiving <laughs> south. So let's go in. I'm still looking for that special something, the Uber Unique or Valentine's Day. Okay, look at what's happening down here though. Are they each or are they in pairs? So it looks like they're each, the Rudolphs, $8. Oh my gosh, and the Commodore Japan. Those are only $20, that's a really good deal. I'm a little over Christmas right now and I'm really, couldn't be any less in the mood for cases. Um, I love the bubble gum charms too. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. It's been a while since I've been in here. I really don't feel like messing with the case first thing. This is a really fun booth. I don't remember this being like it is. Maybe it's because uh, the booth moved when they closed the back. You know, the one thing I can't stop looking at is um, these little candle holders. The choir boys. Here, I see a sticker. $15 for four. That's such a good deal. Oh, I feel so silly leaving them here, but I'm just really not in the mood for that. But these little guys, oh my gosh, how stinking cute. $16 for four. That's a good price too. But again, I'm just, I don't know, it's a little bit more than I'd like to spend on a Christmas thing right now that's not something like uber, uber, uber unique. Kind of christmas out. <laughs> trying to squeeze my way back here. See a couple things. Of course, first is this heart planter. And it has no price. This is just, this is just my luck, isn't it? Oh, I'm having a hard time out here, guys. 
I also really like this ballerina print, $8. It's a little flimsy. It's very cute though. I see the little candy box. It looks like a newer one. I'm really upset about this, man. What's going on with the donkeys over here? $15. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Fuzzy ceramic too. Well, the CEA uh, discount. That's about retail on that. And these guys are kind of fun. How much are they? They've got some paint loss in 15 again. Can't really do that. Oh, I love these rocks. I've had this one before, but still $15. Not super fair, but more than I'd like to spend on something I've had multiple times. Stop. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, I love those types of prints. There's a lot of really fun stuff going on in here. I love the little kitschy color coordination. Uh, I also noticed the dresser mirror, 10 bucks. That's super reasonable. Again, something I've had many times. And even though this is newer, I really like the pansy print heart shape too. Hmm. See a lot of things that are close. These are nice. They look older too. Yeah, Japan. One day, oh, what do we have here? Look at this guy. Little dresser caddy. That's really fun. See, ooh, the rock art. That is fantastic. Kind of a pain to ship these. How much is it? $30, yeah. Can't do anything with that. <laughs> Very fun though. I hate shipping them. I've only done it once and it was it was not not fun for me. Oh my gosh, this is not fun for me. I'm nervous. Put that back. There we go. I'm seeing a lot of Valentine's Day theme stuff, but it really looks all like it's new. What is this mouse thing? It's so stinking cute. <laughs> Guess it's a bank, yeah. A little bank, ten dollars. That's pretty cute. Can I get this? Mm. He's cute, but I'm being weird. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with me right now. I know that when I see it, though, I'll know. <laughs> Is it weird that I'm kind of into this dirty dancing sweater? That's really kind of cool. <laughs> I kind of like that. I can tell they've really been working on their displays here. Like a little portion closed and so everything got moved around and it looks really nice in here. The Boomerang California Pottery Ashtray. Uh, I'm not really into that pottery kind of stuff. Yes, I love all the red and pink. So fun. I was telling some friends at dinner yesterday that didn't know that Valentine's Day was like my favorite thing ever. And they were like, really? And I was like, oh yeah. How can you be upset when everything's red and pink and got hearts all over it? Speaking of which, I did not remember this being here at all. This is a very fun little nook. Hmm. Again, a lot of things that are close to things I would pick up or maybe on another day. I'm not really seeing anything that's screaming at me. Oh, here's that vendor from Weaver's Treasures I like to buy stuff off of. Um, I did notice over here when I was walking past a couple planters, like this poodle one. Ten seventy-five, and then twenty percent. I think I'm gonna get that. Poodle planters are not the easiest find. It's kind of fun. I like uh, the matte finish on that too. Well, this is really not my thing usually, but I couldn't help but notice these jack-o'-lantern mugs. They're new, but they're kind of cool. Oh my gosh! Look at all the fun colors here. Hmm. Speaking of fun colors, I always love this booth. It's this little corner over here where I usually find stuff. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Let's see. 
I love the Tammy doll case. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I looked at these before. I don't remember why I left it. Chain broken. $13 for the pair. Not bad. I like the little elephant too, but $15 is about retail on that. Okay, so these cat planters, I used to pick them up all the time and they sold really quick. Oh, I'm trying to put my basket down. But I never really see them in pink and purple. $10, that's very close to retail though. Dang, that's about what I get for those after fees. Got some fun mugs over here. They're all separate. They're only $4. I think they're glass bake. Yeah, glass bake. It's kind of an interesting one. Don't hate me for it, but I just remembered I've had this one like a couple times and I looked up what it sold for and it sold for like $17 and $18. <sighs> for that price, I mean, I just am really trying to stick true to myself and get like super unique stuff. Unless it was like a little bit cheaper. I'm being kind of a cheapskate because... Um, I'm just trying to be extra picky this year, you know, and um, that's just what it is. So, unfortunately, I didn't find it here. I'm going to head down the road and I'm going to go to Old Glory on my way home. What a crappy day. I definitely should have stayed home today, but I didn't. So, I just got to Old Glory and this is going to be my last stop before I call it. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. First of all, I walked in and there was somebody buying up all these vintage dresses. Now, I ran back there with the sales lady uh, to look and see what was left. There were a few, but this one really caught my attention. This is a beautiful 1950s dress in pretty much perfect condition with the original tool and the original faux florals on it. It's $39 and I normally don't sell clothing, honestly. It's very, very small, but there's something incredibly romantic about it. Um, I'm thinking about picking it up, even though it's missing its tag and it's very tiny. It's just so spectacular. Now, the other thing I noticed, of course, is this fantastic elephant. This one's $7.50. It's Napco, and I am definitely grabbing this. This is incredibly unique. Yeah, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and get this, even though it's $40. It's just too unique and in too good condition to pass up. It's absolutely spectacular. I love it. All right, well, I'm taking a step back and I'm gonna start from the beginning. I kind of ran in there when I saw the pile. I don't even wanna show you. You will probably be as upset as I am. There was something over here that I saw when I was, oh, there it is. Wow, that's an amazing print. Unfortunately, $45 is more than I'd like to spend on that. And then I see a couple little stuffed animals. I'm not seeing a discount. The Black Poodle's fun. I've had it a few yeah. times. Of course, we love the skunk. 15 it is a little close. What is this thing? <laughs> that is really goofy looking. And uh, what is this? It's a little bull. That is cute too. But again, a little bit more than I'd like to spend. Of course, I'm also noticing this German doll. $15, what? With the leather body. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up too. Oh, whoa, look at this. <sighs> Incredibly strange mess, I love it. This boudoir doll, of course, is speaking to me. She's definitely seen better days, as is $2. <laughs> she's kind of great though. Is it weird that I like that she's really messed up yeah for two dollars i kind of want to get her honestly let's see what else is in here mm. no what about this one that one's kind of scary <laughs> again these are all such good deals it's kind of hard to ignore this one's really creepy <sighs> I don't know, is it weird? And she's pretty damaged in the face. Yeah, of course this one was another contender, but 
I think I got the one that was left that I like the most, this green one, super pretty. They're really reasonably priced too. I don't think I wanna get more than one though. Oh, so pretty. So cheap, it's like, man. It's only $19, I feel weird leaving that. It's so tiny though, and it's got a hole in it. All right, I gotta use full, brutal, honesty, disclosure right now. I normally probably would have been able to leave that dress behind, but I couldn't watch someone get all of them. <laughs> I've been kind of trudging along. I haven't found anything else really. I'm coming to check out this baby picture. That's pretty cool, but even with 50% off, $20 is about what I sell those for, or at least what I'd get for it after fees. It's in really good condition. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, nothing really compares to these dresses. Um, and a small part of me wants to get more. This one's 48, God, that's beautiful. But like I said, it's not normally what I do. This one's amazing too, oh my gosh. I'm just nervous about buying, I don't know, 25. That's so fair. I could easily make money on that. I just, I'm just a weirdo sometimes. That white one really spoke to me though. This one's really pretty too. I mean, it's only $18. That's insane. Okay, so the next thing that grabs my attention is this red velvet coat. $65. I have a red velvet cape with pink satin lining that's to die for. I never wear it. Um, not, I'm not crazy about it. I kind of like the idea of it. it. Looks like pretty small too. What is this thing? This is so freaking cool. $18. What a strange sweater. Box for a coat. Faux fur, excuse me, not fox fur. That is really ugly in like the best way possible. This is really cool too. Is this a cape? Yeah, that looks like a cape. Am I wrong? I can feel myself getting really weird. I just have to give one more look. I'm pretty sure that person is in line right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. I don't need this. But again, it's kind of like so freaking cool. Which is this? This is how it happens, you guys. I get really weird really quick. Let's tag on this. Let me put my camera down. But also like this. This dress is amazing. And this one too, it kind of reminds me of Maggie mix up that Madame Alexander doll. All right, well, I am throwing in the towel. I am going home. I am done. I spent $66 in there. And quite frankly, the doll and the dress alone are worth both, um, worth about that each anyway. So, I mean, this dress is probably worth at least 80, 80 something dollars. So I'm ready to call it a day and I will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m.